Little Longhorns. This is your first of four videos on how to do virtual learning the basics. In this video, we are going to cover how to get on a Google Meet into a classroom. We are going to talk about how you can do different short keys in a Google Meet and how to enter and leave a meet effectively, okay? These skills are gonna be very important. At the end, I will tell you what you need to turn in to get credit for this homework assignment, all right? And remember, you can watch this video as many times as you need to get information. I wanna make sure that, especially if you are lagging and having a hard time understanding, that you're able to access what's going on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen so you can see everything I can see. And I'm actually gonna teach you how to share your screen. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first, all of you should understand that you have these different classrooms, all right? This is your bread and butter of just getting into your classrooms. Once you are in Google Classrooms, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is starred blue like mine is, so it's saved on your book, bookmarks bar. I'll show you. I'm actually gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna delete this and now it's gone. If I wanna save this, I wanna make sure I click that star so it pops up blue and I want it to appear. I'm gonna click right here where it says bookmarks bar and click that and then click done. All right, when I do that, boom, I now have a shortcut to any time to get back to my classroom homepage. Let's say that it is um, nine o'clock and I'm supposed to go see Coach T. Well, I know that to see Coach T, I need to click on her classroom, right? PE with Coach T. And then I click on her link. Boom. Now I see Coach T. All right. Let's say I'm in Coach T's class, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing my physical activity. When Coach T's class is over, if I want to, I can click on my own bookmark that I made for myself to get back to this main screen. And then I'll go back to Mr. Keffler's class so I can learn some cool things and just click on this link. All right, that is step one, is just learning how to navigate. You can also go over to the left on these three lines and click on classes, and that will take you back here as well. Whenever it's time for you to go to a teacher's room, if let's say you're going to specials or maybe you're working with another teacher who says, hey, I need you to come work in my room. Just click on that teacher's name and click on their meet link. That's it. All right. Now, I'm going to show you once you're in a meet link, you have certain things that you can and can't do. So let's say I go into Mr. Hall's. I'm going to go into math and science with Mr. Hall. I'm going to click on his meet link. All right. And once I do, it's going to give me this option to join. I'm going to join. It's gonna make you make sure your camera is working. When I join in there, again, this is being recorded so you can see what I'm seeing. There are different options down here, all right? This left part, this is just the share code. You can ignore that. But here is where I can turn off my microphone. This is where I can turn off my microphone. Students, it is important to have your microphone turned off because when multiple microphones are on, the sound can overlap and echo, and then nobody can hear each other. That's why we have certain students unmute themselves one at a time so that we can hear everyone's questions and respond. Another great feature is if you wanna share your screen like I'm doing right now. Down here at the right where it says present, you will click present now, then it's going to give you these options, your entire screen, a window, or a Chrome tab. Choose your entire screen. Once you do, it will pop up with a small box right here that you can click on. And once you click on that screen, it will give you the option to share. All right, you have to click on that part to make it share. If I just go to present now, your entire screen, it's not sharing yet. I have to click on this middle part where you can see your own face and then the share button will turn blue and you will start sharing, okay? 
Um, another way you can mute yourself, especially if your teacher is trying to give directions and you need to mute yourself quickly and maybe your mouse isn't, isn't responding, is you can hit Control D. Control D. You can also press Control D to put the microphone back on. Control D. All right. That is a short key to help you stay muted. Another great thing to know is how to leave a meeting quickly. When a teacher says, okay, class is done, it's time to go, there are two fast ways to leave the meeting. Number one is you scroll and you click on the leave call, the red hang up phone. That's the first way you can leave a meeting. The second way is you can just exit out of the tab, boom. And now you have left that meeting, okay? Those are your two ways to end the meeting. So here is your homework for those of you fifth graders who are currently watching. You are going to um, respond to the form that is right next to this video. When you click on the video, you'll see there's a form right next to it. That form is going to ask you to, what is the answer to number one? What's the answer to number two? Number one, here is the question. I'll say it so you can watch this video as many times as you need to. The question is, what is the short key? What two keys do I press to mute or unmute myself? Okay. And then question two is, why is it important to stay muted? All right. That's it. That's your homework. I look forward to seeing your answers. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to stop and save this video. All right, good luck.